Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. In the last video, we have seen a small introduction to the ABAP language. So in this video, we are going to discuss about roles and responsibilities of an SAP or ABAP consultants in the real world. So actually, the ABAP consultants or SAP consultants are mainly divided into two types. So first one is first one is functional consultants. Coming to the second one is technical consultant. So we, we are going to discuss about mainly uh, this function consultants and what what is the rules and responsibilities of this function consultants and responsibilities of technical consultants and nothing but an ABAP consultant. So first we will discuss about what is the rules and responsibilities of an functional consultant. So coming to the first responsibility of an functional consultant is getting or collecting getting or collecting the business requirement from customers so first requirement is getting and collecting the business requirement for the from the customers so to understand this point let's I will take an simple example so for example you are working for a company called Wipro so and and Wipro got an project from the Reliance, for example. So for Wipro, Reliance is a customer. So what the main responsibility of this function consultant is like, so whenever this Wipro or whenever any organization got a new project from any other new project from the customer, the main thing is these functional consultants directly set with client or with the religions they will discuss the requirement like what they want and what are the things need to be done exactly they will discuss each and everything each and every requirement and then they will access that requirement like for example if 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 that requirement is not suitable for SAP, if that if that requirement cannot be achieved by the SAP, these things they will check like whether that requirement can be achieved by SAP or not. If if it can be achieved by SAP, then it's okay. We will, they will go. They will they will go into the next step. If not, they will again ask the customer to change the requirement or to like to make some kind of changes which can which can be achieved by using this SAP. So coming to this next. Uh, responsibility after getting the requirement from the customer the again the next re responsible of functional consultant is preparing functional document or functional specifications so in this it, it's a, it is a kind of document in this document these function consultants will include each and everything like for example uh, we know about SAP right SAP is an ERP product it, it it provides ERP product so they will check in SAP whether they whether SAP SAP will we all know we have seen in the first video this SAP provides some standard solutions uh, uh, for some requirements so with they, with these functional consultants will check in the SAP whether there is any standard process or standard program which is already provided by the SAP or not if if it is provided in this SAP for these kind of requirements, they will they will ask developers to use that kind of standard procedure. So 
So all these kind of things they will include in this document, like whether there is any standard tables or standard programs or everything are used. So they will include all these things in this functional specifications. After completion of this functional specifications, they need to get approved. This functional document have to approve by the client. So after preparing this functional consultants, they will they will send to the cust uh, customer reliance and after getting it approved by customer then only the technical consultant will come into the picture now we will discuss about roles and responsibilities of technical consultant so we understood about roles and responsibilities of function consultant right the main responsibilities is collecting the business requirement from the customers and preparing the functional specifications technical consultant sorry here comes our duty this is our roles and responsibilities technical consultant is an ABAP is nothing but an ABAP consultant so we will discuss what are the rules and responsibilities of an ABAP consultant the coming to the first first responsibility is understanding understanding the business requirement so what this functional people uh, will do is after getting after completion of all these process they will come to the technical consultants they will have a direct call with all they will take a call or they will send a mail so anything uh, they will they will try to explain the whole scenario or the whole requirement to this technical consultants so what this technical consultants will do is uh, First, they will try to understand the business requirement and they will try to analyze this functional document. So this, these guys, uh, these guys have prepared some functional specifications, right? They will send the same thing to the technical consultants. So they will analyze the functional document. So based upon this functional documents, these Technical consultants will also prepare some technical document. Te preparing technical document is nothing but like, uh, for example, in this technical document, these about these ABAP consultants will include what are the, what is the actual logic they are going to implement to in order to achieve that logic and what are the objects they are using. Object is nothing but an in SAP, each program uh, we we cannot we should not call it as an ABAP program. We everything here we will call it as an object. So they will try to include what what kind of logic, what kind of program, what kind of uh, tables they are using, and each and everything they will try to put it to put it in this technical document. And they will they will they will show to this functional consultant. So after preparing technical document, they, again they will have a call with functional consultants, and um, they will they will it's it's an just a mutual process. Like both both will have an uh, calls, and both will have an uh, discussions about about the requirement. After finalizing this technical document, like if if everything is okay, this uh, about this technical document. So coming uh, they will start they will go to the next process. So coming to the third process is unit. preparing unit test plan so in this process uh, preparing unit test plan is nothing but and preparing test cases so for example if you take any uh, if you develop any program or any or any object uh, how you will test it uh, like using the test cases right so for example in this in this in this step the ABAP consultants will prepare some technical test cases. So, for example, I will take a simple example, uh, some A plus B. So, I am taking A and A plus B. So, in the first test case, I am going to give as input as 10 and B as 20. So, sum should be 30. So, in the second test case, I am going to give 
a negative number here this is one kind of test case a different test case 20 and output should be 30. so that in the third i am going to give both the negative numbers so output should be minus 30. so they will prepare these kind of test cases this is a simple test cases for our scenario for a plus b so according to their requirement they will prepare some kind of test cases and after preparing the test cases they will start their actual development so after completion of this development they will do unit testing so unit testing is nothing but an testing the whole uh, program or a uh, whole logic what they have implemented what they have developed so they will they will they will take each and every test case if every test case is passed then it's okay they will go into the next process if not they will again review their code and they will make changes and necessary changes and they will again test so after completion of this unit testing the next process will be in transport management so in order to explain this transport management uh, I will explain you. so if you take any development system or any development project the three main three steps will be involved like this is a development quality okay production So what developers will do is developer will write everything like will they will develop their code in this development system so after developing their code after testing it or like they will develop in the in the development system after completion of testing unit testing if everything is okay then only they will move their code into the quality system so how they will Assigned to the quality system is nothing but an it's it's a process called as transport management. Using this transport management, we will see each and everything in the coming classes. Using this transport management process, they will send their code to quality system. So here in this development system, only developers will work in this development system. Like for example, only developers will have access in this development system only developers will use this development system no other uh, like no other people like clients they will not use this development system coming to the quality system in this quality system only testers will have the access to this system so after sending the code to the quality system the testers will test each and every and everything each and every test case so in our process we have developed some kind of test cases right in the same way these testers will uh, will prepare their own test cases and they will test in this quality system if everything if 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 everything is wrong they will they will give green signal and then this code will be pulled to the production this is the main system uh, this is the main system where the actual client will work or the actual users will work so if the, if if everything if if something is wrong in this quality system uh, after testing so this testers will raise a hand to the developers like saying that there is some error some kind of bug in this in your code so please rectify it so again developers will do some changes again they will transport the code to the quality system using the same process transport management and again how uh, they will test it and if if everything is okay and then they will send to the production so this is about transport management so coming to the next step support so coming to the support if you see uh now we have done our code uh we have done with our development we have 
sent our code to the prediction so so everything is done uh, we have uh, testers also tested it and we have also tested it so everything is good we have completed our work and we have sent our code to the prediction but 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 in some cases there may be there will be some chances of getting bugs in this production system so we have tested for 10 test cases but we might have forgotten uh, one more test case so uh, this is a continuous process uh, so every time we need to test it so whenever whenever the client or the business or users get an bug when whenever they find an issue they will raise a ticket ticket is nothing but request uh, they will send a request to the developers or uh, to the functional people about their issue so in such cases uh, it is our duty to rectify that issue and to solve that issue this is known as support like after developing the project we are supporting because there may be chances of getting some issue in the prediction so after completion of this whole process the last uh, responsibility is end user training this is an uh, optional kind of thing uh, th this this option will be uh, used only in some of the projects in some projects uh, no no need of giving any training uh, I will just make it as an option so in this step uh, like developers will give training about about the tool which they have developed or about the program which they have developed they will they will just give some kind of training to the users how they need to use their application and how they will need to do their work they will just give some kind of training but but necessarily we won't give this kind of things but yes sometimes we need to give it depends upon the project it depends upon the client so that's all about uh, the roles and responsibilities of an uh, app, app and sap consultants if you have any doubts or if you have any questions just just comment just put it in the comment box so yeah that's all for today thanks everyone thanks